Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Jolly Old Saint Nick. That's it right there. So it's a 16 bar song. Uh, it's in 2-4 times, so I was doing two strums on almost all the chords except for the end. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So you need six chords for this song. Uh, a G chord, any G chord you want. I'm going to do 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 1st string, 3rd fret. That's my G chord. D7 is 2nd string, 1st fret, 3rd and 1st string, 2nd fret. I'm going to get rid of that 6th string. Uh, e minor is 5th string and 4th string 2nd fret, everybody else is open. And then when I'm on that chord, if you're using your 2 and 3 finger like I am, I'm going to go to a G7 next, I'm going to leave my middle finger there, put my 3rd finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, and pivot around 1st string 1st fret. That's my G7 chord. Then I need a C chord, which is basically the same shape as this, just closed in a little bit. So 2nd string 1st fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, and 5th string, 3rd fret. That's my C chord. Uh, A7 is all I need. Uh, the only chord left, 4th string, 2nd, 2nd string, 2nd. I get rid of my 6th string on that one too. Okay, so it follows a 16, it's a 16 bar song, and it has different verses, uh, I think three of them that I know of, maybe there's more, who knows. But it just follows the same pattern uh, throughout the whole song, okay? So we got... There's your melody right there. So G to D7, E minor to G7, C to G, A7 to D7, G to D7 to E minor to a G7, C to a G, A7, D7, G. And that's your, your whole song, just keeps repeating. Uh, all I was doing was downstrokes, so two beats in a measure. So here's the measure of G, that's all I'm doing. Then I go to D7 twice. So that's all I was doing. Um, how else can I help you? Uh, there is a form that becomes apparent when you see it. Uh, there'll probably be a link to my work here that I'm looking at that you can't see. Um, and you can click on that and you'll see what I'm talking about. So the first four measures follow a pattern and then the third line is the same as the first line and then the second line is similar to the fourth line but not quite um, exact. So you got G to D7 to an E minor to a G7. Now the second line is a C to a G to an A7 to a D7 then here comes the next line. This is the same as the first line. G to D7 to E minor and then G7. Now this is like the second line. It's a C to a G. Here's where it changes A7 for 1, D7 for 1, and then G for 2. So, you know, there is a pattern there that you can grab hold of. Alright, uh, I don't know if there's any questions. But, uh, I'll play it through one time without yakking. Here's your melody for you. Okay, Merry Christmas, please subscribe, thanks for watching, and play more guitar.